Hello everybody, welcome back to the world of me. My name's Cougar and this is another episode from our camping and survival series. Uh, this one, we have the mystery SHTF box and uh, obviously here's the box. Let's go ahead and get into it and see what they surprised us with this month. All right, so here we go. We've got, uh, of course, our handful of things, uh, six products here this time. And uh, we've got, of course, our card here that we're gonna get to start off with. Uh, as I've said before, this one has the information for uh, this box as well as the other two boxes that they have, this one being the $20 one. They also have a $50 and a $90 one, and that's just rounding up a little. Uh, so let's go ahead, we'll kind of go down through, I'll follow the card here a little bit, um, and we'll see what each one of these is, and uh, you know, it even says how much they're supposed to retail for, so let's see what they've got. Uh, let's see, okay, well, first one I'm believing is this one. Um, now this is, uh, as it says here, let's see, it is Timberwolf uh, Handcrafted Quality Knives. Now on here it says it is a assisted opening rescue folder. So uh, I'm guessing it's going to have a few features to it. Okay, so here we go. We've got the, uh, the knife right here. You can see the logo right there. Uh, and it's a picture of a wolf and it says timber wolf and then on the bottom it says leader of the pack at the back here you have a uh, the seat belt cutter or cordage cutter whichever one you prefer to use or consider um, they do have the little window breaker uh, point here at the bottom uh, and then we've got the uh, has a well let's see it's got just the standard uh, pocket clip or belt clip there it doesn't have the little finger um, piece at the back, the quick, the quick piece there. It has one uh, thumb knob on it though, and uh, it does open up pretty good. Um, yeah, I do feel a little bit of a spring there. So fairly, fairly quick. Uh, I do like this. Um, I like the shape of the blade and the fact that it is a straight edge all the way back. It feels reasonably sharp. Let's see if we've got. Uh, I've been sharpening things so I don't have a whole lot of hair on my arms right now, but Yep, and it uh, my arms are dry, but it still cut through the the hair there and everything so did that fairly nicely now it says that it is TW203 stainless steel uh, And then it says that it's handcrafted in China uh, Now of course this also has the integral lock here uh, the frame lock so, um, you know, you're not going to be pushing the back end to, uh, to close it. Uh, and they do say that one goes for rounding up $15, $14.99. Uh, now, let's see, we have a waterproof first aid guide, which is uh, this right here. And of course, um, knowing first aid is definitely a necessity for uh, survival and everything. If you get uh, injured, if uh, somebody else gets injured things like that uh, you do want to make sure you know how to take care of those injuries uh, now this does have some kind of folding to it looks like it could be like you could add more things to it and make add like uh, some thickness to it because it has kind of a spine to it but uh, otherwise it's fairly flat uh, this is all just laminated here uh, and and that's definitely a good thing to have uh, they show you lots of different things here there's a thing about SOS uh, here's about first aid tools and uh, looks like they've got some CPR information on here uh, it talks about shock very okay it talks about heat exhaustion and life-threatening things as well how to do how to do uh, slings and things like that so lots of information in there it even looks like it talks about some plants maybe some uh, maybe some medicinal or, or or maybe poisonous type plants in there uh, and that is by Trailblazer there. Definitely a good idea to take with you and uh, doesn't take up any, really any space and it doesn't really weigh much of anything, maybe an ounce or two at best. And they say that goes for $8. Let's see, we'll go with the next one, which is the five in one survival whistle. And this of course, again, is by Trailblazer. Uh, now let's go ahead and tear into it. 
Uh, now, I have a few of these already myself. Now, the ones I have are bright orange, or the ones that I already have. Now, of course, with these uh, whistles here, or with the, well, the survival whistle, I guess is what you'd call it. Um, you have the whistle, you have a little compartment here, and then you have, uh, basically, on the outside, you have this uh, compass. Now, on the inside, there is a little mirror in there. You can see it kind of flashing away there. Uh, and that's, of course, a signaling mirror. Uh, in case you, uh, you know, in case you're lost, you need to uh, signal a plane or somebody off in the distance or something like that. Um, I mean, the whistle will travel quite a ways, uh, but the mirror will give uh, your exact location. So that's very nice in that aspect. Uh, you, of course, have the compartment here, which is, I think that's roughly about uh, two inches, uh, maybe two and a quarter. So it's perfect to put things like matches in. Um, if you have one of those very small uh, fishing kits, you could pack all that in here and uh, then it has a little rubber gasket here that will keep it uh, fairly watertight. Uh, the other thing it has on it is it does have this really tiny uh, ferrocium rod or uh, ferro rod. Uh, so you can try and start some fires with that if necessary. Uh, and of course you can wear this as like a necklace. Uh, it does have the uh, the lanyard here that uh, you can throw on and then just leave it kind of hang under your shirt or over your shirt or however you want to wear it. And let's see, for this, five bucks. And that's pretty standard for these. Now let's go with the next one. We've got uh, the big one here. And this is by Intense. Uh, and it is a self-inflating camping pillow. Uh, it's a it's a little bulky for what I would think. I mean, I mean, I think you ball it up into a real small thing for for being uh, a little camping pillow. But it is self-inflating. So uh, let's see and get this open here. I mean, first impression right now as I'm taking this out of here, the bag is actually a good quality bag. So um, that's nice. Now you've got uh, some elastic bands here. And then you've got the pillow. The pillow itself is padded as it is. Pretty decent size. It's say that's about half the size of a standard pillow right there. And uh, then if you want to fill it up, you just open the, the valve here and you can hear it drawing air in. Now, if you want to fill it up, I'm gonna fill it up a little faster. I'm gonna go ahead and blow into it. All right. Now I have that, obviously this is filled up pretty tight I don't know that I would keep it quite that tight but um, you know in general you can you can fill it up to how you want it will fill up to a certain extent on its own if you want it higher uh, you can of course use the little valve this is just a little twist valve here uh, and that's the same kind of valve that they use on most self inflating type of mats and things like that uh, it's just a little twist valve it's got an opening at the top you can blow into it to speed up the inflation or something like that. Seems like this is relatively close maybe to where it goes on its own. Now, I, I mean, it's it's made of some type of a plastic, uh, but it's got kind of like a coating on the outside, which gives it the feel of like a woven fabric. So it feels nice. It feels pretty comfortable. I, I definitely think this would be great to, uh, to use. Um, I would definitely consider this being more of a camping item than a survival type item. So anyhow, for this one, what they suggest this one going for is uh, $12.99, so $13. Uh, now the next one we've got is the folding saw, of which uh, I believe we've seen one of these before. This one is by Trailblazer, which may be what the other one was, I'm not sure. Now this one's definitely much bigger uh, than the little one I have. Uh, it's got some weight to it. Feels like a nice solid handle. It's got a nice rubber grip. That's really nice and looks like that's a locking mechanism. So, yep, it's not wanting to come loose right there. So you've got like a lock that, there it goes, and it'll open up. And uh, looks like about a, I think that's about a seven inch blade right there. And those are some really nice looking teeth on that. Uh, these are definitely made for cross-cutting. Uh, so, you know, if you're processing firewood, uh, cutting down some, uh, some trees, like some dead standing or anything like that, or even just trimming uh, trees, cutting down some limbs and stuff like that, this, I think, would be really good for that. 
Uh, there's, of course, an opening at the back there for a lanyard if you want to uh, have something like that on there. You know, if you're up in a tree with this, uh, having the lanyard might be a nice idea on your wrist so that uh, you don't happen to drop it by accident. Now, I have a piece of firewood here. Um, it's not real big, but this is uh, well seasoned and this is ash, so it is pretty hard. Uh, so we'll go ahead and try it out. Um, we're going to go ahead and do it kind of towards the back here to give it more of like if we were cutting branches or something like that. Alright, so there we go. Pretty, pretty decent cut. As you can see there, you can see from here, got pretty deep into the blade right there for just that little bit of time, a few seconds. Uh, so it's not doing too bad. Obviously hardened teeth you can see because the different coloring and they are a cross cut um, so, the, so the edges are back and forth rather than that uh, kind of that saber grind But uh, but yeah, not bad And then we've got this uh, this last one here, and this is a two-pack tent light and um, of course this is by Trailblazer and uh, They say it's for seven bucks so let's see what we got. It says uh, requires three triple A's, uh, so we'll have to grab some of those. Uh, it's constructed of uh, ABS plastic. It's uh, LED bulbs, uh, lightweight and compact, heavy duty hook, and they measure four and three fifths of an inch by two and one tenth of an inch. So obviously they're initially measuring this probably in uh, metric. But yeah, it looks like, well, they look like little light bulbs. And then you've got this little, the little hook on the back end there. Uh, let's see, looks like you just unscrew the back here. And then you've got the compartment for the triple A's. All right, so I found some uh, triple A's. Hopefully uh, these are charged up and everything. I've got some rechargeable ones here. All right, and now well, there we go. We've got just a little push button there. Well, I don't know if you could see that come on or not. All right. So obviously you got got a couple of the lights out, um, and uh, this looks like okay. So there's the first one. You can see it kind of dimmed down quite a bit. I think the batteries I have are kind of weak, but you can see what it looked like coming up. And then you hit it again. If you notice, it did actually get a little bit dimmer. And then there you can see it. It does have a flashing feature so I'm guessing that's probably kind of a safety thing trying to get attention with the flashing so um, yeah I mean not bad very much like a, um, a like a lot of flashlights that are out there you have a high and a low and then you have like a flashing type of thing all right so uh, yeah there we go there's uh, I mean obviously here's all the stuff now if you guys want to check this stuff out on Bud K you can go down there in the description below we will have a link to this on their site as well don't forget to check out our social media while you're down there and make sure you leave a thumbs up on your way down or on your way back up as well as uh, if you haven't done so already hit the subscribe buttons hit that little bell icon so you get notified and you know that'll do it for me today guys my name's cougar this is the world of me another episode from our camping and survival series our monthly box from bud k the shtf box I would like to wish you all a good day, and I will see you later. Bye.